Now it's time to meet my first guest. And really, he's so popular, I don't even have to tell you his name. He's handsome and debonair, witty and wise, a perfect gentleman. In fact, he must be the secret author of millions. Ladies and gentlemen, a big welcome for You Know Who! <laughs> There's uh, been a misunderstanding, hasn't there? It's all right, Leslie. Get off. Yeah. <laughs> Wait a minute, man. You heard what she said. Yes. Hello, love. Uh... <laughs> she said handsome and debonair. Do you really think she meant you? Well, of course. It sticks out a mile. I can see that. Why don't you hold it in? <laughs> Sorry about that, fellas. You see, it was the only way of getting you both on with one introduction. Oh, Are you both fit and well? Fine, thank you, Sue. Yeah. Secret heartthrob of millions. I can't, I can't get over it. He couldn't raise a flutter in a hen coop. <laughs> now, listen, Leslie, don't be like mm. that. Don't be like that. I've waited a long time to get you two on the show together. What shall we do, Matt? Him, for a start. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> Witty and wise, he couldn't raise a smile with laughing gas. Now, stop it. Cut it out. This has gone far enough. It's all right, Silla. We're only joking, love. Matt and I are the best of friends, right, Matt? We're inseparable. He's my favourite. <laughs> nice, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Leslie, what shall we do? Well, I've been looking round the sales. And I... Has he gone? <laughs> and I... Th I think we ought to form a business partnership and buy a big store and make a fortune already. Well, that's a good idea, Not isn't it, Matt? I think it's great. And I can just see the sign over the store now. Can it? Here we go. Crowler, Monroe and Black. Shop with the old firm, Crowler, Monroe and Black. We give you satisfaction or we get your money back. We're known for our dependence. We're always in attendance. You'll find me on the second floor in ladies' lingerie. <laughs> Up in the sports department, you can try a game with me. And in my bargain basement, you can roam around for free. It's where the prices drop at, the place to stop and shop at. Spend all your dough with Brother Monroe and Jack. Grand. Oh, I can see it now. I think we're onto a good thing, you know. Yeah, really? I can just see Scylla yeah. in the fishmongers department. Yeah. <laughs> singing, come inside, love. Let me show you a place. <laughs> No, I think you're right, you're right. And Matt, you can be in charge of all the gents' natty underwear and sing, Worn free. <laughs> free where the wind blows. Oh, I'll tell you what, Matt, What's we could that? also do Leslie's old department store gags, couldn't we? Oh, yeah. I can't wait. Oh. Hello. Good morning, sir. Good morning. Can I help you? Yes, please, I'd like three lawnmowers. Three lawnmowers? Yes. You must have a large lawn. No, two neighbours. <laughs> Yes. Can I interest you in a bathing costume? Not just now, love. The wife's at the glove counter. <laughs> Excuse me, what's the price of your ten-pound shoes? Five pounds a foot. <laughs> I say. Yes? Could I try that suit on in your window? Sorry, Flash, you'll have to use a cubicle. <laughs> Miss Trollope, are you having trouble with that gentleman in the boot department? Yes, sir. He wants two shoes that squeak in the same key. <laughs> Could I have a bra for my wife? Certainly, sir. What boots? Nothing. It just wore out. <laughs> Shop with the old firm, Crowder, Monroe and Mac. You get two pairs of wellies free with every plastic bag. Celebrities surprise us the way they patronise us. Dad's army sends young Pike along for something he can chew. Mm -hmm. And Walker sneaks in down the back and flog his tins of stew. And Private Godfrey pops in twice a day to use the loo. Oh, it's so really it's really it. We bargains by the dozen. It's go, go, go with Father. 